Strolling around, getting to know the area, Acox Green in uh, Birmingham. Don't know it very well. I've stumbled on Cry King Village. They do, according to this sign here, I'm going to read it whilst it's inverted. They do Cry, they do Baldi, they do Perry. Yeah, Perry. I don't know what we're going to get. I'm not planning this. Apparently, the Piri Piri is succulent, guys. Let's head inside. So I've asked the brothers here what they're famous for, like the name says, Gurai, and a couple of other things. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna surprise you guys. And they do have lots of seating inside. Uh, some seating there, but I'm gonna go right there. Guys, this is like proper old school. Like I feel like I've stepped into a time machine. Not just a time machine, I've stepped into a time machine and gone to Pakistan. This is a proper OG restaurant. I just went to the Gents, and it it's an OG restaurant. That's all I'm gonna say, right? It's OG. But I've ordered the food, the food could bang. That's what really matters, okay? We're gonna sit down. We're gonna give the tape a little wipe down. But to be fair, right? I don't think this area is supposed to actually be open. I think he's opened it for me. So I'm not sure if this we're allowed to really sit here, but the lovely chap said I could. It's good lighting coming in. Uh, I'm in the mood for some good food. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to be here to know what I mean. I feel like in the summer, yeah, this would actually be fantastic. You have those doors open. You know, you kind of sort everything out, put some chairs out there. I think it'll be lovely, but most people are sat in the actual restaurant. So I think he's actually done me a favor. Thank you so much, my bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Does the uh, uh, karai come with the naan? I, didn't, I don't think I asked. I'll give you one naan. Thank you, thank you. We've got the chips, we've got the salad, we've got the sauces. The rest of the food should be only second. Does anyone ever dip a chip into curry? I don't want to do that. If you haven't done it, don't judge me. Try it, let me know. <laughs> Yo, that looks unreal. Thank you, bro. That looks amazing. Sizzle, sizzle. Can you hear that, guys? This looks unbelievable. The sizzle on that and the actual individual stuff looks amazing. This and there's some. Half this is the half charga. Yeah. I'm not pre judge this place. This looks, oh my gosh. Like the curry is coming out, right? But so far, so amazing. I don't know how much any of this costs, I'll be honest. I don't look at the menu. I just kind of ordered. And uh, we'll see at the end. We'll see at the end. I'll tell you guys the price at the end. But we're going to start. We're going to kick it straight off with these chops. These actually look. Uh, Fantastic, magnanimous. They look, they look good. I, do you know what? Nothing beats charring on on a uh, meat. I love a good bit. Try, just pull that off. See if it. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, these are flip. Oh, touch of lemon on there. They are cooked to perfection. They cooked really well. Amazing flavor. The charring, brother. These chops are amazing. Honestly, mashallah. These are very, very good. This is a good eye. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna turn you around. Sorry, my bro. Can you can just lift that for me, please. Thank you so much. Don't mind me your channel name. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll send you my I'll, I'll send you all. When I leave, when I pay, I'll yeah. give you my name and all my information. Oh, thank you um, so fantastic. Yeah, that, you're very kind. Thank you, bro. Guys, this is, this is too good. This is, this is honestly, guys. I've only really had the I came in. I prejudged it a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I did. I did. Okay? I'm only human. So far, that chop is levels. Honestly, levels. That's really good. I'd happily get that in a restaurant anywhere. It's not going to get a hey man, but I'd give that like. Eight out of ten, because um, it's it could be a little bit moister, but the flavour is like a nine. Moving on to the seek, this is a chicken seek, um, which do you know what I prefer? What do you guys think? I actually prefer chicken seek. I'm not. I'm really massive fan of uh, lamb seek kebabs. You are scared of hey man. That is getting it. That is so juicy. You can see the little specks there. Can you see like all the little individual ingredients? The onion. We've got some of the coriander in there. We've got. I like when it doesn't feel like a homogenous blob, you know? You can you can bite through the fibrous meat. The flavor on that is beautiful. It's not overpowering at all. That is actually unreal. That's, that's probably one of the best seeker bars I've had in Birmingham. A few of these in like a naan in a wrap would bang. So guys, I know I'm rushing. I just, I rush when I get excited. Oh, I, think I, I think I found something special. I don't know if people have been here before. I think I found something special. I'm not a fan of the wing, actually. It's got a funny taste to it. I think a touch of lemon would be really nice on that. I'm not too keen on the wing. But that might be my palate. That's not for me. Try it out. Find out yourself. That one's not not for me, really. Do you guys like the little bits of onion? Whenever you get the bottom of the scissor, they cook. They're always my favorite bits. And then this is uh, just a little chunk of chicken. That one as well. I think it's cooked really well. It's actually incredibly moist. You can see it's cooked here. It's very moist. Very, very moist. I do think a, a touch more flavor would be good. A bit more chili on there. Maybe, yeah, some more salt, some more pepper, some more spice would be great. But the chicken 
on the lab, sorry, the chicken seat, on the lab are crazy good. Guys, if you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button. I upload really every single week, two, three, four times a week, lots of foodie content. So if you are a foodie, you like that kind of stuff, this is the place for you. Hit the subscribe button. Now we're gonna move on. We do have the, uh, oh, the karai is kinda, you don't wanna say don't touch it because it's hot. You just can't help but just kinda do one of these, right? We're gonna move on to the karai. This is the lamb. I did ask how long it takes to make. To be honest, I always ask that because I wanna know if it's like made fresh. So sometimes I feel like if it's quiet and it takes them half an hour to make, probably making it, you know, fresh. I would, and it said about 20 minutes to half an hour. So this is a good start. And that is like, look how deep that is. It's like full. I am extremely excited to try this. We've got some uh, fresh naan as well, which I don't know, I feel like it's a red flag when people don't do fresh naan. I just really enjoy it, you know? Like you can't beat a fresh naan and it's one of those things that just adds to the meal. Like the curry could be great, but if this is like from a packet and dry, it just kind of takes away from a lot of the meal. I just love like doughy fresh naan. We're gonna go straight in there. I'm gonna try and get a big chunk of meat. This is the karai, the lamb karai, half a kilo. They do a kilo or half, they don't do a smaller size. And this one is, uh, it's on the bone. Because I feel like that's where the flavor is, meat on the bone. Look at that guys, we are not messing around here. Look at the steam coming off that. It is piping. Oh, that has got just a beautiful, rich flavor. The meat has got real, real softness to it, like real softness to it. And they've got a good amount of meat too. They're not shy, you know? There's a good amount of meat, there's half a kilo uh, with bone. And I think, oh no, at the end, I think on the menu, I think it was like 12 or 13 quid, which is good because this is enough for, I would say three people kind of comfortably. This is a, a massive portion of curry. After eating this, I would like to try the chicken and maybe some of the vegetable curries, but this is gonna go down so well. I'm gonna get this packed up because there's a lot here. I didn't realize how big it would be, but half a kilo to be fair is really considerable. That feels like, a, do you know what? That feels like a kilo, but then it's half a kilo of the meat and then with the other stuff and the masala, maybe it's a kilo, I don't know. I know at the end, I asked for half. A bit of onion for acidity, why not? This is good, man. Do you know what, this, this is really, this is a, this is really good. We've got loads of seating inside. I just wanted to sit outside because of the, the light. Content create a life, you know. Look at this. Look at this, this is this is cool. This is the, um, they called it the jarga, which is actually a Pakistani thing. If I asked for peri chicken, but I think they actually have like steamed chicken here. I'm gonna, just show that off to you. There's a lot of meat going on there. This is a half chicken. You can obviously get the full. And again, not doing my job. I did not check the price. Um, I should have, but there we go. I'm gonna pick, break some off with my hand. That I could do without. The marinade needs to marinate, or the chicken needs to marinate with the marinade. A little bit longer, I think. I think that could do with a bit more flavor. The flavor's on the skin, but it hasn't seeped into the chicken. The chicken is a, is a touch dry for me, so I would probably not have that again. I wouldn't have that. But the karai with that naan, the sea kebab, whoa. And the uh, lamb chops I would 100% get again. And they have other stuff, you know, like burgers and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes, you know, uh, places like this, they can kind of knock out the park and do more than one good thing, you know. I wasn't going to get a burger in a place called like Karai King. Karai King Village. I wasn't going to get a burger. Hold on. There's another place called Karai King in Birmingham when I did get a burger, but that place is known for a good burger. So, it's a bit different. This, I did no research. I literally had something else to do down here. I checked out the fat pizza. I was walking down, I saw this and I thought, you know what, let's, let's give it a go. Let's be casual, let's be fun. And I think this video might be going live during Ramadan. If it is, this would be a good place to do iftar, actually. You can sit with the family and eat. If it's not for going out at Ramadan, then watch it, watch it in Ramadan, and then come here. But if you want to see more videos in the area of Birmingham, just click right up there, guys. There's a full list of videos there for you. Do hit subscribe. That really helps me out. Do follow, do share, do all that fun stuff. But I'll see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.